logical arrangement of an uh, how a foam system is provided for aircraft handle protection so first of all whether there is a requirement of air, whether there is a requirement of foam system for aircraft hangar or not depends on what is the type of hangar and what is the group of hangar as per nfpa 409 so whenever a foam system is provided for an aircraft hangar it can be either uh, overhead sprinklers low expansion foam system that is option 1 or the second option is it can be a high expansion foam system now in a low now the pnid shown here is of a low expansion foam system so the basic components of a low expansion foam system are the overhead sprinklers which are mounted on the top you can see on the top of the aeroplane sketch then at the side you have the oscillating monitors to cover the area under the wingspan which is which on which the foam cannot be sprayed by the overhead sprinklers then you have the detectors which are generally ir detectors uv ir detectors or ir3 detectors which are used to detect the fire then there is also a hose reel station which is for supplementary fire protection so it can be either a hose hose reel station with a inductor hose foam hose reel station or it can be a barrel type foam hose reel station and there is a barrel tank with a ratio controller so the operation philosophy says that in this case of a fire which is detected by the uv ir detectors they send a signal to the alarm panel and the alarm panel in then actuates the deluge valve provided at the inlet of the foam proportional and the uh, and the deluge valve is actuated as well as on the downside also there are deluge valves for individual systems like the foam screen that has one deluge valve the hose reel station has one deluge valve and also for the oscillating monitor so this way the different deluge valves can be uh, uh, you know uh, programmed to operate uh, so that so that they can operate simultaneously and then the whole aircraft hangar can be flooded with foam and in and in this case also the uh, also the, there is a electrically operated foam concentrate valve here which is all, so the foam supply is provided to the system only on, only on the receipt of the detection signal next